Monday, federal regulators announced two major settlements to repair mortgage-related legal disputes. Today, we take a closer look at what this means for foreclosure cases here on the Sun Coast. SNN local news reporter Amber Stidham has more. $20 billion may sound like a lot of zeros, but some fear it may not be enough. Federal regulators announced Monday two separate mortgage settlements totaling $20 billion. This includes $3.3 in cash payments and $5.2 billion in loan modifications, something real estate attorney Nancy Kaysen says will bring the much-needed boost to southwest Florida. Put a huge dent in the mortgage crisis, especially locally where we've been hit very hard. And this gives the defaulting homeowner an incentive to move forward. Ten major banks, including some of Florida's largest lenders, agreed to pay $8.5 billion to settle federal complaints that they foreclosed on homeowners who should have been able to stay in their homes. Some saying the money isn't nearly enough. Misery. And so, you know, I think it's a slap on the wrist. I think every settlement so far has been a slap on the wrist to these guys. Um, whether some of these banks did it intentionally or not, they should have known. Separately on Monday, Bank of America agreed to pay $11.7 billion to Fannie Mae to settle claims from the mortgage-backed investments that soured during the housing crash. Now homeowners may have a chance to reduce the principal balance on their homes. People more that want to keep their home more willing to do a loan modification because now they at least have a chance of principal balance reduction where before, at least for Fannie Mae Freddie Mac loans, that was not happening. The $20 billion is nothing because there's so many people here who are underwater. Details of the settlements won't be released until March when borrowers will be contacted. This agreement follows last year's $25 billion national mortgage settlement, which provided debt forgiveness, principal reductions, and loan modifications. I'm Amber Stidham, SNN Local News. Federal regulators plan to contact borrowers with details of the settlement by mid-March.